A sandbag is dropped from a hot air balloon and strikes the ground after 8 seconds. Okay. Assume downwards as positive. What was the height of the balloon if it was at rest when the sandbag was dropped? Okay, so at rest means it was just hovering in the air, it was not on its way upwards. So there is our hot air balloon, pretty pretty, okay, and it drops a sandbag at some point. Now when it drops the sandbag according to this first part of the question, um, what was the height of the balloon if it was at rest when the sandbag was dropped means that the air balloon was not moving itself so its initial velocity was zero. Then we saw all the way to the earth this sandbag drops and eventually when it gets to earth this whole journey takes a total of eight seconds. Okay we already have two Parameter values, all we need is a third one, and that obviously is acceleration. They tell us downwards is positive, and therefore our downward acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared. Now with that in mind, let's go and work out how the height, in other words, the displacement of the bag. That's how high the balloon would have been when it dropped. So the um, formula that contains initial velocity delta t as well as acceleration as well as uh, change in displacement is this one. So if we write that one down we have delta x is equal to initial velocity delta t plus a half times a delta t squared. Okay, now we can substitute the values that we do know. We know that the initial velocity was zero. Therefore, the change in time will not affect that. It takes eight seconds to fall. But acceleration is 9,8. And change in time is 8 squared. And now, using our calculator, let's get that answer. zero times eight will obviously be zero plus one over two times nine point eight times eight squared our final answer is three one three point six meters that is how high it was when the bag was dropped